Okay, hello everyone and welcome to another video here on my channel. Today for this video, as you can see, I am going to do a voiceover of currently my highest country streak I've ever done on any map. No moving, of course. And that is my streak on a community world of 129, which is currently, I, I'm not sure, but it is probably the world record, although I don't know if anyone else was submitting anything else. It's a new category, so there are no records. So basically, <laughs> yeah, this is, I don't know if I was the first one to submit there on Plunkit, but so I'm going, I did this trick and the video is private and I'm just going to now do a voiceover tell uh, explain some locate explain all the locations there but i will be skipping the long parts of course because the video lasts one hour and 40 minutes so it be it will be shorter <clears throat> and other than being my longest streak so far it is also my most epic streak i must say with a lot of uh, very tough locations 50s 50 50s 5ks and stuff like that i had to do so I think, yeah, there will be some quite epic rounds. So let's start immediately. <clears throat> so here we are starting our streak. First one is just Peru black car. Looks like near Cusco, like the native architecture stuff. This is just Australia. I just plunked wherever. Uh, this is Israel with the car bollards look all around this looks just like italy po valley flat and stuff <coughs> this is south africa black people gen 2 other things around okay the, for these first ones are really fast because i wanted to get to a bigger streak this is just yamaguchi yellow, yellow guardrail in japan i just guess there okay this one um, I was looking around, yeah, this was the Mexican pole there, <clears throat> and there's the flag of Mexico on the left as well. This, I was also looking around, but this architecture with these wooden top houses and uh, also being South America, that's very Peruvian. <clears throat> and I went with the general look and just guess peru somewhere it was in the south the amazonian side of peru of course it was green this to me looked like slovakia we had czech slovak uh, bollards i looked at the sign i mean it could have been either because i don't know the like czech and slovak to know the exact differences between their words and stuff but this looked more like slovakia it was also gen 3 although now slovakia has also gen 4 <clears throat> so it's even more tricky and it's just some classic southern US I thought with these trees, houses, road and whatever else there was yeah I don't know in some of these rounds I was quite cautious to keep the streak <clears throat> this was one of them and yeah it was okay the next one as you can see, this is just Chile, North Sound, a double white line, everything else. Follow car Nigeria and the car. <coughs> this is uh, just Russia with the look and the car and everything. Wasn't region guessing it. This is also Russia, as you can see. Just wanted to check twice before guessing. It's just Newfoundland looking gen to Canada with those pines on the side, balsam firs and other stuff like that. <clears throat> this here was Bulgaria. It did look like somewhere in the Balkans. I guess the houses looked most Bulgarian. And I found on one sign there was a Cyrillic text, so that confirmed it. And the plates. Gen 4. 
it's just Australia long antenna left drive double line everything that you can imagine Australia is one of the easiest this one had a Norwegian flag and just the look Australia is one of the easiest countries to recognize Geo guess okay now this was a tricky really tricky round because we had just this it says gel mare there was a guard there which I couldn't really see his ethnicity <clears throat> well there were just some houses coastal houses with some unknown architecture like it's not like native architecture or something just like contemporary architecture looked around it was a bit dry and those palm trees and stuff <clears throat> so my first thought here was actually like Mexico or Brazil or like uh, Latin America <clears throat> but we had the coast to our east and also we had the islands which also doesn't really fit Brazil to be honest to have those islands down there I mean there are places some in Brazil but I don't know if they have exactly those islands somewhere <clears throat> Also Peru, it couldn't be because of course the orientation and then it's uh, Mexico eastern coast is really flat so that also kind of doesn't fit. So after this <clears throat> I end up scanning the coast. I even looked at if there was a place that fit in um, like uh, Peru and then uh, Mexico Baja California was also looked similar. This guard, yeah, I couldn't tell what uh, race and nationality he was. And in the end, I just said, as you can see, by looking at this and everything, and I couldn't find a place on the Latin American coast which fit, I just said, F everything, this looks like it could be the most in the Philippines <clears throat> and I just did Philippines and it was <laughs> so that's how that ended that was good this was just Andorra with those long snow poles and everything <coughs> okay next one we have it, there was some Hungarian text like that Juhas and then we had also on one of the signs something which looked Hungarian. However, it was mostly uh, German. Yeah, like Gasthof Charta. That's also Hungarian chart. It was mostly German, so I thought this uh, Austrian region near Hungary, maybe there are some Hungarians there and stuff. <clears throat> you can see those all of those signs were German, so yeah, it made sense this just we had the Finland signs and uh, yellow signs and everything the left drive double line that's Malaysia black plates everything Japan low cam somewhere I don't know middle I just guessed middle okay now this one it looked pretty weird to be honest I didn't know where to guess <clears throat> but then I spotted this um, green sign which is the Polish green sign as I could see could have been maybe also Hungarian but I saw that metal roof that looked more Polish so I guessed Poland and that was my thought process on that here were <laughs> I look at, at the poles and then a uh, yellow plate on that vehicle that one car these other cars we had also the cross on the signs back of the signs this just looked a lot like canada somewhere in the east like also newfound we had the maximum sign and stuff but uh, yeah, the, it, those rocks are like the Canadian shield. This is just Tunisia. We had follow car and 
red white curbs and everything just general look dryness <clears throat> this here now is just bangladesh with the car and everything else it was all the way south as you can see here we have the black car of bermuda bermuda comes up quite a lot on this map i noticed <clears throat> So yeah, I did guess there. And this is just Jordan with the black car, no antenna. And this dry look, deserty look. And yellow lines on the side. This is just American Samoa black car now. <clears throat> and these blocky roads, I just guessed US. Because that's all encompasses the US. Now this here just looked like somewhere in the mountainous US. Wasn't sure where exactly it looked like the Appalachians. So I did guess there in the end, I think. <coughs> and yeah, it was exactly there. Now we had Fujaira and, and yeah, bite car, just UAE, nice roads, everything checks out this here we had the sign which said kilometer per hour so that checks out Canada and then it looked like BC but it was not BC with those huge mountains it was Gaspésie Gaspésie Peninsula in Quebec which also has some mountains so it can be Beatty and this here is just Australia I know I just looked a bit around <clears throat> and it was actually in the west which I don't know if there were any clues for the west there I didn't really pay attention it's just streaks so okay here we had just uh, Thai signs Thai language white and black poles yellow sign everything left drive this here looked just like New Zealand and we had those bollards with red stripe in the car and everything just looked New Zealand, of course. <coughs> this here just low cam Japan, general look, all, all the things around you. And here we had the black and yellow stripes of Taiwan, Gen 4 normal cam and those bollards even, although you don't really need them when you have the stripes <clears throat> and the poles. This here, yeah, this just, it almost looked like South Latin America, but yeah, the bollard and yeah, Albania mountains can look rough like that. Okay, this here, we had signed to Bathurst, which didn't cross my mind, was actually in New Brunswick. I was just guessing fast, so I just guessed. And we even had the sign, I think, for New Brunswick Highway Shield, but whatever. Um, this is in France, as you can see, French bollards, just some dry southern look. <clears throat> Somewhere in those mountains, close to the Alps, probably. And we had the blue strip on the pole, which confirms France, of course. <clears throat> <coughs> here I al already started to become quite careful even mo more that, than was needed because I reached 40, 43 streak yeah this is also just France, just French signs French plates, French everything but yeah I wanted to check every location so it's not like some Beatty Belgium or who knows what <coughs> you need to be pretty careful on higher streaks and yeah that non-french architecture in the west in the east okay this is also france <laughs> this is a community france it seems and it ended up being Brittany. so yeah community world okay this is just Turkey, we had bollards and road and everything else. <clears throat> uh, 
And this is the UK plate, just looked like Scotland to me. So I just guessed in there and it was indeed. We had Brazilian ladder poles. We had this dry red look with small antenna. It looked, yeah, it did look like Roraima now when I look at it. But yeah, I was just guessing the country, so it doesn't matter. This like the black and white poles. I thought first Ireland, but then I saw the actual uh, license plates, which checked out for the UK. This here is just some Western US, some like Montana splash, Idaho slash, I don't know, Wyoming, Washington, Oregon. And it was actually Nebraska, quite hilly for Nebraska there was, but yeah, there are some hills in Western Nebraska, I guess. <coughs> this is now one of like the old, very old Gen 2 cam locations. Those can be quite confusing with the looks, especially in those southern European countries where everything, all the countries look pretty similar with stuff unless you find some plates specific to some country. <clears throat> so here I just, the plates looked uh, Spanish, this sign looked Spanish without the white border and the architecture as well with this brick houses and those white houses so everything just looked Spanish so I just guessed in Spain and it was now this here was just Kyrgyzstan with the car and snowy mountains epic location this was Kenya with the car again <clears throat> this is a specific Kenyan car it's not the normal one so I saw it before in Western Kenya, close to Uganda. So I guess there, but it was not there. It seems it can be found in some other parts as well. <coughs> okay, this is just Brazil with the black signs and poles and everything else. Really checks it out. Here we had like uh, Irish Celtic language. On those signs, we had the red, uh, yellow stripes on the side, uh, green and white signs. So yeah, bollard checks out for Ireland. <clears throat> this here we had those ladder poles, holy poles, and I looked a bit around, and I found actually. Uh, Romanian language. First I thought could it be maybe Hungary or stuff, but this language checked out for Romania. I think it did end up being close to Hungary though, so that checked out as well. <coughs> <coughs> that was pretty well. Yeah, or there in the end. Here just Polish bollards ladder poles again, holy poles, middle pole and wood guess. I learned how to pronounce that. They just looked like normal Brazil you would find anywhere. And there was a ladder pole there, which checks that out. And here we have a location, which was, I think, quite baity as well. So, as you can see, when you look at this, <coughs> it looks la quite like Macau because of this really old Gen 2 camera. But I kept looking around, wanted to be like certain so that I don't miss it. I saw this sign also did look Taiwanese, as well as that sign down there. And I looked at plates, they were green, and that other plate was white, which are the normal. Uh, Taiwanese plates. I And I remember that maybe Macau actually has like black plates, probably. <clears throat> so I started to look in Macau if there was a road that matched so that 
maybe I can 5k it. And then it would be Macau because I don't know, maybe they were changing plates or who knows what. <coughs> we had those black and yellow chevrons. I think in Macau they're actually yellow and black rather than black. And, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. And I wasn't sure if Taiwan had this really old Gen 2 camera. This like the 2008 Gen 2, I think. I wasn't sure if my, uh, Taiwan had that. And of course, Macau was wholly covered with that. So I started looking through Macau for the roads that matched. <coughs> I looked all around in the north, in the south. And after some time, I was losing hope. Like some roads matched the orientation, but they didn't match with this like uh, almost empty look that Macau is small. So there are not a lot of empty areas like this around. So yeah, I kept looking at that. And then I thought, because I couldn't find in Macau anything, let's check out Taiwan. And I found this port in Taiwan. I don't know if the, it's the main port of Taiwan. It's like quite large on the western coast. There are some, some ships there in the background uh, to the west, southwest. <coughs> so that checked out being a port. And this... Here, yeah, the coast orientation to the west and everything really looked like this. <coughs> this area could really be it. Uh, because the road orientation matched and pretty much everything else matched. But I still wasn't sure if it could still be Macau because the... Um, Camera is uh, looked like the Macau camera. And yeah, also Community World has a lot of Beatty locations which for which it is also infamous because people who are making the countries because like everyone was making one country or parts of countries, then they were looking for some bait locations or maybe <clears throat> locations. They were putting all their coverage in places. <laughs> Uh, on purpose or newer hidden coverage like San Marino and I don't know what. So it is, you need to like, when you find one of these baits to look carefully or get lucky and just to surpass them somehow. So yeah, then I went back to Macau to look back if it was in Macau again. <coughs> And then I really didn't know if I did find it in in Taiwan in that spot of where it was still Macau. I wasn't sure, but I couldn't find anything in Macau. So in the end, I just decided to guess. <laughs> and it was, as you can see, the 5K, which I totally wasn't something maybe didn't match because maybe it was older coverage some some roads were different and stuff but as you can see luckily <laughs> it was exactly the 5k i found there and that was an epic round really one of the most epic ones here in this streak yeah the 5k was epic there were there were even tougher rounds in this streak this just looked left drive malaysia we had only one line, but I mean, everything looked poles, houses looked Malaysian, road. <clears throat> so I just guessed up in Sabah somewhere. Yeah, I was really, really careful on all these locations. I just looked all around because it was already 59 streak. And that's not a joke. I mean, it's not that high of a streak, but still. This here, again, is a bait location someone put. 
we have red dirt, which looks, I don't know, like Brazil or maybe like even Mexico. We had like southern vegetation with those pine trees and other trees. And we have a dirt road with some plain meadow by the side, which had cut grass. But this mostly to me looked like the US still. <clears throat> US doesn't have a lot of these dirt roads covered. A lot of they have a lot of paved roads. But it did still look I thought maybe this was a mailbox <laughs> which checks out. Then this poll I thought probably is US because it doesn't look like one of the Latin American ones. And we had those southern pines, maybe it could be like the, one of those red areas in the US, like Oklahoma or Georgia or, I don't know, southern areas. <clears throat> but yeah, I kept looking around. The car couldn't be seen, which also fits for the US. But totally, if you went fast on this location, you could have easily been baited but in the end it ended up being Florida which was great okay this is just again black car Bermuda which of course came up again as you can see as I said it seems to be common to get Bermuda on this map <coughs> Maybe also because it's baity, so they decide, let's put loads of Bermuda. This is yellow sign that you can find in um, Johor. It, with the Arabic on it, but couldn't see the Arabic. This was just Thai, Bollard, signs, language, left drive, everything. <clears throat> Here we have just the general... Western US looks southwest somewhere, New Mexico, Arizona, Utah. With these red rocks all around, being a lot of them, it did look to me like the Moab area in Utah mostly. <coughs> <coughs> Which I think I ended up guessing in the end. And it did end up being there just on the other side. So that was that was a great guess. And okay, now, now we come. I think this is the toughest location I've got in the streak. But there were some which were pretty close. We just had a forest. We had a road with no markings. We had no car. Just. Uh, freshly made roads road through the forest with nothing on it the forest also looked pretty nondescript we had some ditches like it was made by pouring stuff to make the road base and then they put asphalt over it <clears throat> i looked which forests could they be are there like what kinds of trees there are? The trees looked kind of weird to me. Like they didn't kind of fit European trees. The road kind of fit Europe, but I thought maybe it could be some weird road in the US as well. <coughs> that someone baitily put. And I think the person who made US on purpose put some quite baity locations there. <laughs> <clears throat> this, these people are true trolls, so you don't mess with them. And as you can see, I put my pin first in the US, but still the road, I don't know, it still could be look to me quite European. Although the trees, yeah, the trees could also have been like European, but somewhere we, where I don't know the trees, like maybe northern Spain or something like that. There was a line through the middle of the road. The car couldn't be seen, which was another clue for the US. <coughs> and yeah, I just kept staring at the road, kept staring at the leaves of the trees. I thought, could that be eucalyptus in the back? 
could that fit like Galicia, Northern Spain or because there are some eucalyptus planted there brought. It might not have been eucalyptus though, it could have been as well. <clears throat> These trees here thought I looked whether they were like maple, I didn't really find the maple leaves there I think. Then I looked at these other trees, they were like, like had those small leaves that some of them did look like eucalyptus and everything. <clears throat> Although, yeah, they may not have been. So yeah, I ended up looking first US. Then I think at one moment... Uh, At one moment, I changed it to Spain, I think. <coughs> yeah, the, here, as you can see, my pin was in Spain. And then I, in the end, I decided it looks, I don't know, quite weird. Trees doesn't, it, there is the most chance that's the US because US is big and it has like weird areas and everything. So I thought, Let's guess there, it could be there with the weird road and everything. There are weird areas. Forests and trees. And in the end... <laughs> after meticulously scanning through every leaf of these trees, I decided to guess US and it was U.S. in Mississippi. <coughs> the road, the dirt looked kind of red as well, so maybe checked out for south. And yeah, I got through that very tough U.S. location, luckily. Okay, this here, first thought I think was Indonesia. I just looked at these signs, whether they were there was any language there there were there was no like true language there were like some names of some i know clubs or whatever <clears throat> i looked at people also these uh head scarves muslim head scarves matched indonesia ran for cam everything else i didn't spot at first in the background there were some <clears throat> roofs which looked quite Indonesian here on the right yeah that one there and there was on the other side there was also a roof which looked Indonesian yeah, I wanted to zoom into <clears throat> Indonesia not Malaysia there and after looking I don't know why I've spent so much. I just wanted to make sure. I decided let's go this road here. <coughs> it kind of fit, but also maybe it's not there. And it ended up southern Java coast. And here we just had everything which looked like Thailand. No, no, actually not Thailand. Uh, Indonesia with this uh, yellow uh, middle line, which could also be in Thailand, but we had the bollards, which were Indonesian poles. We had the plates, which were also Indonesian black with three parts, three white parts on them. And that's not, yellow line is not Malaysia. So I decided to guess in uh, Borneo because it looked like it and it was born here at the end. Indeed, this here was, <clears throat> well, yeah, was, it was Mexico with these uh, octagonal poles, of course. Yeah, this is where I was just becoming more and more careful as the streak went on. So yeah, I did end up guessing Mexico, I think, of course. I mean, if the streak has to go, then I had to have guessed Mexico. Next one is uh, Iceland. 
<clears throat> with yellow bollards road this look i mean clearly iceland okay let's go next one norway long lines look like lofoten area mountains so i did guess i think this was a repeat i had it before and now this location this location someone posted previously in one of the discords like a weird location and i thought <clears throat> i kind of did i remember i thought mostly that it was in spain as far as i could remember but i i wasn't sure at all it was spain the architecture i looked at it looked kind of spanish so i ended up scanning the whole southern coast of Spain for this exact place because I knew it was on the map of course <clears throat> with the, these two bridges on top but yeah so I was just scanning the map first I just looked and then I started scanning scanning all the way up north like First I scanned the southern, then I scanned every part of Spain that could have fit. <coughs> Wherever the coast was a bit south, I scanned that. I looked like this place looked kind of similar, but didn't really fit. Scan, scan, scan. Then I started looking, maybe it's like uh, Canaries, maybe it's like Italy like sicily maybe it's france maybe it's turkey <coughs> and stuff and that but i didn't at all realize yeah i kept scanning the spanish coast again because look the most like it's there there are lots of places like that there with those curves and bridges <coughs> i actually didn't realize you can see scanning <laughs> didn't realize that I actually missed this place it seems I don't know when I missed it but here it is when I've actually found it finally in the southern coast of Spain maybe it was covered by a name or something I just really did miss this place down in the Andalusia coast of Spain and yeah everything fit with the small road on the side and it was fi another 5k here in the street which was amazing but yeah it helped me kind of that i saw that someone posted that location before although i don't know if i would have guessed it might have even guessed it if i hadn't seen it okay <clears throat> this here to me we had the uh, narrow roads which mostly looks like estonia we have also white flowers which can mostly be found in estonia but there was no like 100 percent estonia call or something <coughs> i think the car was that the black car or no i wasn't sure because that can only be happening i think someone said in estonia and latvia but yeah there was no like green blur or something to say 100 this is estonia but i just decided yeah it did look mostly like estonia so let's guess in estonia and how much time did i spend on this yeah i spent some time <clears throat> but yeah after looking around i just guessed estonia and it was right it wasn't coastal but good yeah country okay this here we had the serbian flat sheet bollards they have no like they're not round or fat so that checked out serbia pretty much also like plates and stuff <clears throat> wasn't sure where exactly it was it ended up being in vojvodina this here was the Curacao car, although location is was quite weird for Curacao. There are like some nooks in Curacao which look like some other places as well, which you got to watch out if you're playing an NPC or something, or no car. <coughs> but here it was no problem, of course, with the car. 
24,160 in that game, but yeah, not quite a high score. Wasn't going for okay. This here we have Iceland. No way, what am I saying? Yeah, we had the Norwegian flag there, so that checked out. Yeah, this is just Norway, not not Iceland. Do you get Gen 4? I don't know. Well, I said Iceland. This just looked like we had the follow car of Tunisia. It looked Tunisian. We had everything just checked out. Black car antenna. <coughs> That's it. This is just uh, Portuguese language here, which we had. I know I just kept looking around, but yeah, in the end, I did uh, end up guessing Portugal. Uh, this here, we had the uh, German language and we had the wide low gambler of switzerland yeah, i did guess switzerland in the end <clears throat> let's go faster through these because i know i was just checking them a lot to make sure i mean uh, the signs were italian language plates those double letters those are very italian And yeah, I guess I just guessed Italy in the end. <clears throat> yeah, that was 80 streak so far. This was Ghana tape, just plonk Ghana wherever. This is just in Mexico, like like Baja California with those Baja cacti growing around they're very common there Gen 2 also fits for Mexico and not the US we had the chevrons and those signs <clears throat> down the road there was a sign as well <coughs> with the yellow diamond which fit Yeah, there was the sign there. And yeah, I guessed Mexico there. Next one. This is a repeat I had before, just Western Sumatra. <clears throat> we had the Indonesian roofs, like some tiled roofs, some metal roofs, left drive, everything. General look signs. Yeah, I was just checking 100 times. Uh, <clears throat> this here, North Sun. And this looked mostly like Peru, and we had black and white Peruvian stripe sign, so I went with Peru. This here looked like Taiwan with those like weird poles, like decorated poles you wouldn't find that uh, that looks real very east asian <clears throat> to have random stuff like that not like europe and we had the black and uh, yellow stripes on the pole there so yeah i just guessed after checking again that was 85 <laughs> And this here was a tricky location, but something saved me. The lines look mostly like Finland, also long antenna could be in Finland as well, as far as I can remember. And also, like, this Gen 3 coverage can also be... It was a bit too hilly for Finland, although Finland has some places which look like that. <coughs> So I put it first in Finland, I saw those hills again in the back and then I saw down on the sides of the roads, I saw this bleached out, <laughs> bleached out Swedish lines. 
seems first at first the lines were like this normal Swedish ones, but then they painted them over afterwards. So yeah, that checked out mostly Sweden to me, I thought this should be Sweden. I even looked through some roads in Finland. I don't know, it's a long round. <clears throat> but in the end, I did just guess in Sweden. And it was there, luckily. And I thought, can these hard rounds end? But <laughs> it seems like... Yeah, I thought maybe now, like, we, I won't have some hard rounds until I know what. But immediately next round is, again, one of the hardest rounds in the streak. I mean, I could have just plonked France immediately. The road looked really French, this, like, narrow road. And just the way it looks, the road. <clears throat> the way it's, like, smooth. And then these outcrops on the side of the road. I mean, nothing else looked really that French other than the road. Those trees also, I don't know, fields, whatever, they can be also... I was thinking mostly between France and Luxembourg, of course. Luxembourg has a lot of Gen 2 as well and can look exactly like this pretty much, almost. I looked around the trees and I even looked if there was any, like, coniferous trees. <coughs> so that that would more be towards Luxembourg, but they couldn't find them. And I know, I just look, thought it could be some random road in Luxembourg still. Who the heck knows? <clears throat> but I couldn't really find any clue to differentiate them other than I saw the road really looked French, so I went mainly on that. We had a tractor there, but that was also not of any help. I ended up like looking through Luxembourg, trying to find maybe a road that would fit somewhere in the border areas, which are more remote. And also what made me think more France is that this look quite remote. I think Luxembourg would be more populated because it's a smaller country. It wouldn't have like as many empty areas as this. There was some village down there, but it's quite small and mostly hills all around. Really remote. Look, that's why it's, it was Gen 2 too. So yeah, I did end up looking all around the border areas of Luxembourg. France, of course, I there was no way I was going to look through all the France for the 5k of this. So I didn't. And after looking through a lot of areas in Luxembourg... I didn't really, this area, this fitted the most, but there was no this one road going there and <coughs> some houses were on the side as well, which weren't there. But yeah, after f failing to find the exact road in Luxembourg, yeah, this, this was a bit too windy for this road. I just decided, fuck this, I'm not gonna find anything else. And bam, France. It was France. GG's, that was quite tough. But yeah, the road saved me. This here, we have random blurs all around. <clears throat> we have a random cow standing there. <laughs> yeah, the random blur meta, of course, mostly points out to Lithuania. The poles were like square concrete with uh, those pole tops, which everything looked pretty Lithuanian, of course. <coughs> <coughs> and of course, I had to guess Lithuania in the end, although I was just checking 100 times. There, there wasn't much of a point. And checking, but when you are on such a high streak, you want to make sure. Okay, this we had language, and we had the red car, and also the Ukrainian eye on that Univermag. <coughs> so that was in Ukraine. This here, again, a Baltic round. 
here we had something which looked like a uh, green blur and also the pole tops on those electrical poles they the concrete didn't go all the way to the top as you can see the top bulb on the pole is on metal and that is a clue for Estonia of course because in like in Lithuania it would go all the way to the top and Latvia has different poles the wooden ones with stuff on side mostly <coughs> but yeah just the green blur and that the poles didn't go top and also the road was kind of narrow yeah everything checked out for Estonia next one we had Gen 2 cam we had these poles which are like wrestler Belgian rush French I think mostly Belgian with those hold ones see-through ones we also had the blue sign on side which looked mostly like Belgium and the house that tavern I don't know what that house is it had on it written the Boect, which of course sounds really Flemish slash Dutch. The road also looked quite Belgian, and we have had those uh, concrete outcrops on the side, you can see, and those tiles on, on the other side, <coughs> which also can be features of Belgian roads. They can also be just tiled without asphalt on top of them. But here there was us, maybe the old road was tiled. And yeah, this sign, the blue one is very Belgian. And also the the back of the other signs, which are like black and the they uh, it was folded with red on the others. Okay, this just general Russian look. White poles with black on bottom, of course, that's those are classic Russian poles. I think those you can't even be found in Ukraine, so that's quite a strong meta for Russia as well. <coughs> mm, yeah, I mean, I've never seen them outside Russia, those exact poles. So, yeah, that's just classic Russia gas there. A 92 streak, this is just classic uh, Australia, probably somewhere in Queensland because of these uh, a lot of open areas between trees that looks mostly like Queensland and it was indeed Queensland, yeah that's like a meta for Queensland with grass. <coughs> Here we just had Romanian language. everywhere and babushkas crossing the street that did really check out all right okay here this mostly looked like to me at the first look all these like vegetation road this small house random house on the side these canals and dryness and i know what it looked quite like mexico <clears throat> Like maybe some flat west coast parts which have those canals like Ciudad Obregon has canals around it. But I saw yeah there were some hills to the north so I wasn't sure if it was really Ciudad Obregon but maybe that one of those areas. <coughs> else I was looking around just where it could be else. I couldn't think just everything did look Mexican there was no like concrete meta there that something was Mexico just general look that's how Mexico yeah book example of Mexico yeah here we had the way and those pole going up top the sign and these bollards and those small strips on the side everything just checks out for it Denmark, Denmark, <clears throat> this here just signs, bollards, look, Albanian flag, everything, there was no mistake on there, <clears throat> this here just white plates, completely white plates, 
even on those unblurred ones. Sometimes even Ukrainian plates can look white. So you got to watch out for that, really. But the, to me, the vegetation really looked like something maybe in Krasnodar with these trees looked quite southern. <clears throat> these trees planted on the side. And then there were some marshes there. I wasn't sure about that. But yeah, everything just looked book example of Russia. And it was indeed Russia, but it was, I think I've seen before like weird locations in Veliki Novgorod, like with those trees planted on the side. <clears throat> So it wasn't close to Krasnodar. This is just white poles, uh, those stripes on the road, black car, just classic Uruguay. Everything fits. Even that kilometer marker, electrical poles. And now for the 100, we got here Indonesia. <coughs> and where else? Uh, you can see by these ornamented roofs, these small like spirit houses on the side. That's the book example of Bali architecture. Like nowhere else but Bali. And Gen 4 and everything, just classic Bali. Horns on the roofs. GG's, we got, that's the first time I got to 100, no moving streak ever. Like, I haven't been trying too much, but yeah, this is just general classic look and rift of Albania and uh, <coughs> uh, the language, everything looked Albanian. My previous record was 98 on a diverse world 2.0. So, yeah, it was a bummer to like end it at 98. <laughs> but okay, now I got over 100. And this is on a harder map. This just got a mile, of course, with the car. <clears throat> this is uh, Cambodia, like back of the car can be seen, white car, just houses on stilts, those like palms which grow specific palms like balls which grow in Cambodia 103 and yeah again we got a Cambodia world a Cambodia community world with Cambodian language and those houses again here we just have classic no white border on the sign. Spain and bollards were Spanish, signs were Spanish, the hunting sign was Spanish, black and white. Portugal has the red and white ones. Road even looked Spanish, like those reddish road. I don't know how to explain it. <clears throat> so yeah, it was going pretty well right now. Here we got just to me, it most looked like the US, like maybe Northern somewhere where it like also Canada can look very similar, but something about this looked quite US, like maybe it was the road <clears throat> that it looked a bit more Southern than Canada. Yeah, there was no like specific thing here, which I could point out to be US and it was Nebraska again. <laughs> Coto Privado de Caza, these stripes on the side, these white and black chevrons, <coughs> everything just checks out for Spain, even the long antenna Spain is, has it. Here we got a location and the road, of course, first of all, I looked at the road, it looked French, the same as the, in that round before, the tough round. And this sign, this white sign under the, the road sign, 
and also the pole there as you can see so the white sign and the pole looked french and also the sign itself <clears throat> the road houses i couldn't really see i was looking at them yeah could be france as well <coughs> Yeah, I just guessed that it ended up being northern France, 108. This is just Mongolia with the tent, and I mean, it looks like classic Mongolia. Ulaanbaatar hedge, just plonk. Yeah, it paid off. Here we have, this looked a bit weird, maybe also like New Zealand, but this is Chile, the sun was also north, the Chilean poles were there, <clears throat> Chilean signs looked of course more like Chile than New Zealand. Although those fields on the side, when you first see them, they give some New Zealand vibes. <clears throat> Puerto Montt, 110 streak. And here we have ourselves and Italy, Italian plates, Italian language, Langolo del Mare. And we had the Via on the street sign, Polignani. Everything, GN, which is pronounced like N in Italian. The plates, of course. I went Sardinia, but I mean, I know architecture differences in parts of it was the mainland. This here again <coughs> looked mostly like the US, just this road, how it looks, cut grass on the side, even on like some remotest roads ever, like some fields. Because of those black rocks on the side, it looked volcanic, and I thought about guessing Idaho, because they have those moon rocks in Idaho, which looks similar. But because of, I think, the fields or something, I decided maybe it looks a bit more like stuff in South Dakota, although I know where it would, maybe the rocks could also be there, who knows. <clears throat> it's not a tested matter or something. There was no like lines on the road, there were some signs in distance and these ones on the bridge, but they weren't anything specific. <clears throat> and it did end up being right by the craters of the moon national park so i was right and i shouldn't have overthought it this again we had white plates looked like southern south america we had one yellow plate which of course in chile the company plates like taxis and uh, trucks and stuff can have yellow plates and it says Punta Arenas on that bus stop, I think it is a bus stop. So of course I just <clears throat> put it exactly in the city itself and got 5k even, <laughs> just plonking it there. And this here, <clears throat> just general Philippines look, right drive, concrete block roads, these poles, I'm not sure about those poles, whether, and these political posters everywhere with Spanish names, but Asian looking guys, just classic. And those like orange poles and the light poles, <clears throat> it's just uh, Turkish language, everything, even that scarf on top of the head looks pretty Turkish. I said Istanbul Kadesi, so if you don't know you're in Turkey, then I don't know. You shouldn't play this game or something. Uh, I got a badge, Master Expedition. <laughs> After they implement those badges, I didn't play as much as before, so I'm not like a extremely high level. But I'm going up <laughs> Plum Leak Road, that's like quite... Licking plums, quite a de de depictive name, descriptive. So yeah, this looked like classic US, didn't look like, and it says Montgomery County, so it also looks pretty US. <coughs> now we're in the Appalachians, 
This of course looked my, like Malaysia. White car, Buck, so Baba Sun. I don't know, nothing really there. There it looked like two parts on the plate, not three. Two white parts and just the houses looked more Malaysian and everything. There weren't any, and the poles as well, there weren't any stripes on the poles. Road. But yeah, I was just checking three times, even the truck had two. Two white parts, this car. Yeah. It did, I guess. Yeah, okay. That's Malaysia. Let's go like 12 more. <clears throat> to go. This is just Chile classic Temuco Gen 4. Temuco got through the most Gen 4 so far. Hopefully they're gonna extend it like even south and everywhere. <clears throat> Santiago and Temuco have most, but Temuco has most Gen 4. There was Tia on that sign, the street and then Tia that's also the yellow sign Gen 2 is like looks Finnish, flat. <clears throat> it was that island near Oulu. Now this here we had black back of the sign we had uh, Brazilian poles. <coughs> those rather and even the sign and the names looked Brazilian those leather poles on the right of the sign which I think I spotted later because I was looking at these poles they they were just there was the black back of sign. Yeah I did maybe spot yeah, that's when I spot it. You just 120. Actually, my goal was pretty much to get to 120 with these streaks and even more, of course. But that, that's like kind of high streak, 120 when you reach it. Of course, first 100, but yeah, 120 is even more. These bollards, again, flat bollards without fatness just and there was a mountain north that's a meta and it's flat and like voivodina looking but there is mountain north <laughs> i guess so close there there is like that small not tall but long mountain north of there <laughs> <clears throat> and yeah this is just classic brazil poles the satellite dishes the painted white bottoms, the red plates on the truck, which also is Brazil meta, and Ecuador also has like red or orange-ish plates. <coughs> <coughs> That's it. This is just Brazil. Oh, <laughs> this is Kenya, not Brazil. With the car, follow car and everything, of course. In lame metas, but whatever. <laughs> we didn't play NCNC right now. This black car just looks like Peru, everything. Not sure where is the sun was exactly. Yeah, it was a bit north, I think. Tiny bit. <clears throat> These huge dry mountains, of course, classic Peru example. But yeah, after I surpassed 120, I was checking out more and more <clears throat> to be sure about everything. But yeah, this is just Peru guess. This here, I think I spent also some time on this round. The plate didn't have blue on the sides, but it looked small like the... Uh, Italian plates. These mountains didn't quite look to me uh, like the Alps. We had those chevrons which are Italian of course as well and the white full lines on the side. <coughs> yeah, mountains didn't really look to me like... Um, that sign also might have been Italian, it was hard to see through the trees. It didn't look to me like the Alps. But as you uh, 
are gonna see when did I guess in the end I just looked all around <laughs> just being way too careful should have guessed it not, not sure what else it could have been other than Italy that plate short plate signs <clears throat> But yeah, I guessed up in the Alps and it was actually Calabria Mountains, which I had no idea that it can look like that down there. <clears throat> but it fit because it didn't look like, yeah. Okay, here it's uh, Italian language says odio i fasci, like hate fascists, I hate fascists or something like that. Of course, those Paso Carabile Italian signs, Italian plates and everything. Lecce. It was the architecture of the South, it seems. This here, yeah, Portuguese, uh, not Portuguese, Brazilian poles and look classic Brazil. <clears throat> this here now is quite, I mean, a cool location, kind of. It is Uruguay with black car poles road and these mountains exactly with these clouds and reddish a bit they are in the northern mountains there are two high mountains southern and northern and I knew it was this road and this road on the side fit and I got the 5k there which was cool this here it said Rue des Rons and Fans or something like that which of course those are like the green French signs also there was French there was French everywhere I looked <laughs> <laughs> and the plates were French as well probably yeah with blue on both sides but long those are French short ones are Italian with blue on both sides and here we come to the location I will finally fail this tree con as you can see we have gen 2 it looks mostly like when you look at it classic things it looks mostly like Luxembourg the bollards fit even that pole around the chevron kind of fits Luxembourg design I have no idea <coughs> but there were some differences and it was the chevrons were uh, red and white which like in Luxembourg they are black and yellow and there was that yellow sign and it ended up being as you can see the hidden coverage in Germany which I don't really have much experience with of course because it was hidden so I wasn't really looking at it pretty much <clears throat> at all I don't know I did sometime after like after this trick I did look at it and yeah those red and white chevrons even if they have the pole on top it's also in same in Luxembourg as in uh, <clears throat> Germany they have those poles around signs and this sign it it says the weight maximum weight of vehicles it says it for like tire vehicles and for the chain vehicles like tanks so they, they even have t tank signs there that's what their ziggy told me so that's also a german sign these bollards can also be Luxembourg road i don't know and also that two kilometer which it said on that on this sign on the right it says two kilometers that's apparently also not in Luxembourg but only in Germany but I mean whatever <clears throat> this was a really good streak I'm I'm very happy with it of course 129 countries it is what I hoped to get to be honest I don't know if I will even go for higher streaks than this but this was a very amazing streak on such a hard map as ACW is with a lot of bait locations like this one for example so I don't 
feel bad really for guessing this location wrong, of course. <laughs> it would have been better if it was a higher streak, but yeah. Okay then, guys, thanks everyone for watching this video. It's quite a long one, and I hope, yeah, it's just <laughs> so long, but I wanted to explain everything. And I will see you then next time, but until then, stay good, and bye-bye.